Okay, so Solana update here. Thank you for liking the video as well, guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know which altcoins you want to see. Let's jump in to Solana right now as it is resting on the price action channel between the 21 EMA and the 55 EMA. So definitely uh, something that we could probably call sideways and uh, probably a little bit compressed right now as well. Uh, we do have this beautiful range coming through as I draw it in very neatly with this nice little paintbrush, right? But we can see, yeah, pretty clear range in uh, in play right now. Uh, if we do lose this low here, 162, which we did talk about in the last video with Solana, uh, it's pretty bad. We do have the 55 to hold us up, but uh, we don't really have any supports here uh, that can really keep us alive uh, if we do lose this area, right? You could argue that we do have this here at 152, but uh, I mean, it's not great. It's not great because it's very wicky, right? We want candle body closes uh, for key areas and zigzags. Something like this, right, is a lot healthier to be looking at. Uh, and we can see that generally around this area, 117. Uh, okay, so we'd have, we have this high here as well. So uh, yeah, I would say 121 uh, up to 126 being a key area to watch here. Because uh, if Bitcoin does have one of these crashes for the halvening in 10 days, right, uh, then uh, it could be a scenario where it drags the other altcoins down as well. Not to mention we have a lot of really, really bad meme coins on Solana right now, uh, which are just rugging, okay? Thousands are being made every day and just rug, 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 rug. So that's actually negatively impacting the uh, the reputation of Solana. And they did go down the other day as well. As a blockchain, you're not gonna go down, <laughs> right? So uh, yeah, pretty bad on that front for them. But what we can say is this is probably one of the best performing assets for this crypto run so far. So I'm not too worried about this thing. I am still holding mine as well. Uh, but one thing uh, is, yeah, if we do get this pullback where Bitcoin does dump around the halvening, then uh, yeah, 121 to 130 is, is definitely in range for us to hit. Uh, but I do think once we hit these areas, if we hit these areas, uh, that we do get a major, major bounce slash buying opportunity coming through as well, uh, where you can just load up and, and just hold it until the end of the bull run right um but as of right now yeah not looking fantastic uh, we are currently inside that range as we talked about at the start okay i'll just draw this bad boy in and um, with this bad boy we do have a major move coming through towards the downside uh, which is roughly in line with my targets anyway uh, which could bring us down to about 147 so this clump we talked about earlier uh, which isn't going to be that strong but uh, if we do smash through the 55 in like one candle or something without retesting it it's usually a great sign that we can actually push back through after hitting that area so watch for that if we do start dumping uh, but more often than not we we probably come down we retest and then we bang it down to the low areas uh, as well if bitcoin dumps right if not then there is is the chance we recover here uh, and all you really want to be looking for in that case is uh, well looking for the diagonal trend line to be broken but I think that's going to be a little bit too soon for an entry uh, I think the best entry is probably if we just break this high right we break this high at 210 we can bang that up test the all-time highs and really uh, violate that 160 area uh, not 160 260 area uh, which will be fantastic right so if we were to make a wave up here we would have this measure move and then we basically just look to get in about 212 and then we ride that trade up to 240. That's probably the easiest trade here for Solana. Okay, and that's probably all I really have to say about this video. Okay, uh, there's not too much else. I do just want to bring up the um, multi time frame here and just check that out. Is this going to work? No, it's not. Why? Calculation. <laughs> bad very bad indeed that's the problem with me and my indicators they are they're very good but uh they use a lot of memory right because <laughs> they're quite complicated but um yeah uh, what we will do with this is uh is try and get it from another chart yeah, let's just take a look grab that throw it over here it's gonna work boom, boom. It might be a bangkok in internet issue as well but i do just want to check these out before i do anything is it gonna work is it gonna work here definitely an internet issue Pretty annoying, pretty annoying. But uh, okay, yeah, here we go. So uh, yeah, we've got this right here, right now. Uh, we are trading in between the range. We've got the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band being tested right now. We can bring it down to a four hour for this one as well. And uh, apologies for speaking super fast. Sometimes my brain just goes psh, light speed, but uh, I can't talk as fast as my brain's going. <laughs> <laughs> right uh, but as this thing loads again uh yeah we're gonna show this on the four hour and and really just show you the range that this thing's plotting because it is doing a fantastic job 
as of late. Uh, okay, so you can see we tested the 15 minute and the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band here and had a pretty decent bounce off of that. Uh, and if you had just found that trade here, guys, I mean, that's 6% in the bag, okay? Uh, so it's not every time we hit this, but it's usually when we reclaim it uh, that it's it's a great trade, okay? So you can see here we lost this 15 minute one, one we reclaimed it, and then boom, we have this massive thing as well. This is a four hour as well, right? So if you were to trade this on a 15 minute, I'm not gonna click it because it's gonna load forever again. But um, yeah, I mean, can be great and the 60 minute seems to be holding pretty nicely so far so if we do head down here watch for this 60 minute uh, if you are if you do have the indicator trial uh, then uh, yeah feel free to watch this 60 minute because it's going to be a key area for us potentially bouncing and recovering because uh, if we lose the 15 minute here right which is just under this yellow line right if we lose the 15 minute if we bounce off the 60 minute and recover again we should be getting an edge towards the upside right if we lose the 15 minute uh, and let's say it goes down there with price, then uh, we'll be looking for this 60 minute. If we lose a 60 minute as well, we basically just have to wait till we reclaim these again uh, and then find a fantastic long, okay? Uh, so yeah, that's definitely gonna be one I'm gonna be looking at, particularly on the copy trading account. And uh, besides that, that's pretty much the video. So have a fantastic day. Uh, and again, if you do want access to these uh, these indicators and learn how to use them, then feel free. It's completely free. Uh, just watch this video, turn the sound on here in the uh, in the bottom right, okay? Uh, and then, yeah, you can, you can learn basically three strategies that I use every single day and then get a free trial, a free trial uh, for all the indicators. And if you like the indicators, you make more than 50 bucks with them in a week, then uh, feel free. You can you can buy this and make money, right? Easy game. So I'm giving you guys all my strategies here for free, uh, as well as a trial on these indicators for you to have the best chance at these markets, okay? Uh, so yeah, have a fantastic day. Peace out. Goodbye from me, Hamilton. Thank you for liking the video as well. Really, really appreciate that.